Yo, yeah, what's up everybody? It's DJ Angelo and welcome back to Cut Class powered by BPM Supreme. Today is episode 6 and I'm addressing probably the most common question that I get asked from up and coming turntablists. Check it out. Okay, so the first thing I need to stress is that making turntablism routines is really hard. Like really, really hard. I've never found it easy and even friends of mine who are world champions in various DJ competitions, they also have a hard time too. So don't be surprised or disheartened if you're struggling. We all do. In my opinion, it's the highest level of DJing. There's nothing higher because it tests everything a DJ has to offer. You're dealing with selection skills, you're dealing with creativity, you're dealing with physical dexterity, you're dealing with composition and musicality, you're dealing with performance and showmanship, and in some cases, you're even dealing with music production and sound design. You're basically doing a lot of things in a short space of time. Every routine that I've ever made has taken an obsessional amount of work. They've all started from different places and they've all followed different processes to get them finished. It's never the same twice. So if you're expecting a step-by-step -step guide or a one-size-fits-all magic formula, sorry to disappoint, but it's just not possible. Making a routine is basically starting with a blank canvas and deciding what piece of art to paint on it. The possibilities are endless, right? Nobody should need to tell you what songs to play or how to transition them or what scratches to do or what juggles to do or how to perform with showmanship. All of this needs to come from you. You are the artist, you are in charge of this. So it's your job to create a piece of art that's unique to you. With that being said, I'm going to try my best to share with you some tips and advice from my own experience of making routines. And as it's 2016, I'm pretty sure most of you are spinning digitally. So today I'm going to focus on making routines for use on DVS with two turntables. So I've broken things down into five stages. Stage one is your idea stage. It's probably the most important stage of all because this will give you direction. And also, as long as you have good ideas, you can pretty much learn the rest as you go. So the emphasis here is your ideas. It's okay to watch other DJs for inspiration. We all do that. However, it's not okay to emulate what's been done already and to get too influenced by other people. So step back, be objective about other people's work and think about how you would do it differently or how you would do it better. As a DJ and turntablist, I listen to music both for enjoyment, but also for research. I'm basically always scanning for interesting sounds and samples and parts of a song that I might want to manipulate. And it's these early ideas that sometimes end up becoming full-blown routines. So you need to ask yourself, what kind of routine do you want to make? Is there a particular style of music or a theme that you'd like to incorporate into your routine? Is there a message or an emotion that you're trying to convey through your performance? Is there an existing song or track out there that you'd like to manipulate and put your spin on? Or are you trying to showcase the features of a specific piece of DJ gear? Whatever the motivation is, this will lead you to your next stage. So moving on to stage two, this is where you gather all of the sounds you need in order to flesh out the idea you had from stage one. A routine is basically a live collage of various pieces of audio. So it will definitely help if you have a good knowledge of music, samples and lyrics. However, we have some great online resources such as Google and YouTube, which you can use to dig for existing sounds that might be perfect for the routine that you're trying to put together. As a DJ, you're naturally a collector of music, but as someone who wants to make a routine, it will be useful for you to keep a collection of acapellas, instrumentals and samples for you to dip into whenever you need to. The more pieces of audio that you have, the more options you have when it comes to build a routine. So for example, if you're trying to put together a battle routine, you're probably going to want to look for aggressive and high energy beats and perhaps use lyrics from rappers with an aggressive style, such as DMX or Eminem. Or you might want to make a routine that's more about fun and entertainment, in which case you'll probably want to use funkier music and perhaps some funny samples from TV shows or movies or cartoons. Or you might want to make a routine that's a combination of different styles and energies and emotions. Whatever the case may be, 
There's a wealth of music and samples out there for you to dig for. So just use whatever you're feeling and we'll be happy working with. If you can't find the right sounds that suit the routine you're trying to make, you may even have to create them yourself. For example, producing a beat in Ableton or a lead synth line in Logic or even recording your own vocals to scratch with. So being handy at music production will also give you an added advantage at this stage. Moving on to stage three, which is what I consider the composition stage, and it's probably the most difficult and exhausting stage of all. It's basically a test of your musicality and the process of writing your routine using the different pieces of audio you collected from stage two. Think of your routine like you would a song and try to include the different elements in the structure, such as an intro, a story, a climax, and an outro. The main challenge here is that you're creating a piece of music that is intended to be performed live. So basically, the finished outcome can only exist by means of you physically executing the routine. And in turntablism, as you know, you're never just standing there playing a song from start to finish. Instead, you're expected to perform efficiently, keeping busy and fully utilizing the DJ gear that you're using. In addition to musicality and composition, you're also dealing with physical dexterity, which is your skill level your ability to execute all of the techniques that you intend to throughout the entirety of your routine. So the complexity of your routine will depend on your level as a DJ, but also how obsessional you are as a person. My advice to you if you're a beginner is to start wherever your strengths are. If you're good at mashups or good at cutting up phrases or good at looping beats, then start with that and build your routine outwards. So I'd suggest that you play on your decks on a regular basis, concentrating on having fun and being experimental, rather than putting pressure on yourself to create something. Some of my best ideas have come from just me having a relaxed jam, as opposed to me really trying to make a routine. So once you're off the mark, all you do is just work on whatever techniques and skills you need to further develop your ideas and push your routine further you'll eventually have a better idea of how your final routine will sound. Although at this stage, your routine will probably be in fragments with lots of smaller set pieces. This leads us on to stage four, which is what I consider as the production stage, where you take your fragmented set pieces and you combine them. For example, you might have a really cool scratch routine and a really cool juggle part. So you take these, bring them into your production software and arrange them into two separate tracks. So you'll need to decide which sounds you want to play from the left deck and which sounds from the right deck. And you'll also need to arrange the sounds accordingly within your music production software so that once the audio files are rendered, they can be played back and manipulated to your liking on your turntables using a DVS. For more in-depth training on how to produce and arrange digital audio files for turntablism, check out my tutorial on YouTube named How to Make a Digital Scratch Tool. So after this lengthy and exhausting process, we still haven't finished working. One more stage, stage five, which is where we now have the routine, it's produced, it's arranged, and it's ready to perform. So basically all that's left for you to do now is to practice, 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 and practice some more until you build up the muscle memory and are able to perform the routine exactly as you intended, clean and as perfect as possible whenever you choose to. So there we have it guys, my personal five stage process to making your very own turntablism routine. It is only a guide, so figure out which processes and which order to do them in works best for you. As I mentioned, making routines is really, really difficult. And the first time I made one, I didn't really know what I was doing, but I promise that if you make a start, you will pick up the rest as you go. The people that end up making a routine are the ones that really, really wanted to. Okay guys, good luck. Until the next time, peace and progress. And if you're completely new to scratching and turntablism, be sure to check out my extensive turntable tutorial collection and for a limited time only, get a discount to the BPM Supreme record pool with every purchase. Details are in the video description.